the word defibrillator for today where we trust in God for a word from within the word. This is fantastic. So I'm going to go back a few verses, and we, 1 John 4, we're going to start off at, let's say, verse 13. And this is the Amplified, the classic, so we're going to expand on the word. By this we come to know, perceive, recognize, and understand that we abide, live, and remain in Him, and He in us, because He has given, imparted to us of His Holy Spirit. And besides, we ourselves have seen, have deliberately and steadfastly contemplated, and bear witness that the Father has sent the Son as the Savior of the world. Anyone who confesses, acknowledges, owns that Jesus is the Son of God, abides, lives, makes his home in him, and he abides, lives, makes his home in God. And we know, understand, recognize, are conscious of, by observation and by experience and believe adhere to and put faith in and rely on the love God cherishes for us. God is love and he who dwells and continues in love dwells and continues in God and God dwells and continues in him. In verse 17, in this union, communion with him, love is brought to completion and attains perfection with us, that we may have confidence for the day of judgment with assurance and boldness to face him, because as he is, so are we in this world. How amazing is that? Eh? For me, it just take that moment and allow your very being, every thought, your very soul ab absorb the fact that because we are in Christ Jesus, we have the boldness to stand in the face of judgment on that day, knowing that because we are in Christ Jesus, we are okay. Now the verse for today, and many things on this planet Earth are driven by this word. Decisions we make, things we buy, the clothes we wear, the conversations we have, the people we want to know, the people we know. Everything, unfortunately, let's say a lot of things, get driven by this. And this is a message to you who uses this to motivate your world. Some parents will use it to motivate their children because it is a very, very strong emotion to control people with in fact the enemy will use this all the time and just in case that this word has such meaning for you today i'm just going to dispel it and just destroy its effect that it has on you and i so 1 john 4 verse 18 says this there is no fear in love Dread does not exist, but full-grown, complete, perfect love turns fear out of doors and expels every trace of terror, for fear brings with it the thought of punishment. And so he who is afraid has not reached the full maturity of love, is not yet grown into love's complete perfection. We love him because he first loved us. There is no fear in love. Dread does not exist. But full-grown, complete, perfect love turns fear out of doors and expels every trace of terror. For fear brings with it the thought of punishment. It's going to be okay. You've 
done wrong, you've made mistakes. But there is no punishment if you are in Christ Jesus. People say, oh, Sean, if you only knew what I've done. Well, he did. And he still died for you. See, the reason why Christ did die for us is because of what is to come. He saw our lives in fullness. And through Christ we get restored to original intent. What were your dreams and aspirations before your life fell apart? What was the Father's heart for you before you were born? That perfect way that he has set up for you and I. There is no rehabilitation. It's restoration. It's rebuilding with original parts. It's okay. And you've had all these great and wonderful dreams and aspirations and it's been confirmed. And God is moving so mightily in your life. And then you make a mistake. You stumble a little. And now you, we walk in the fear that it's all going to be taken away. We're going to lose it all. We're not worthy. Well, you loved. You are absolutely loved. So if you are afraid, it just means you have not reached the full maturity of love. It's not yet grown into love's complete perfection because if you knew love in the depth and you uh, that it is and accepted it that god is patient with you he is kind not self-seeking he holds no records of wrongs he always looks for the good in you always tells the truth you see we do love him because he first loved us and that does sound strange, but when you look at that love story, that one will say to the other, that just brings that completeness, I just want to tell you that I love you. And then we all wait in anticipation to hear that response. I love you too. You see, the father did his love letter to you. His revealing his love to you was his son sent to rescue you and I. That's him saying, I love you. Today's a good day. The second of the second, 2022, to say, I love you too. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this moment. We thank you for that absolute romance, the love story of how you won us over. Father, we love you. We thank you. We are so grateful. Thank you for your love, your grace, your mercy. Thank you for your forgiveness. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your love. We love you too. In Jesus' name. Amen.